On Monday, June the 3rd. I just looked at it and I second guessed myself. Monday, June the 3rd, that's what it is. Oh my goodness, I am tired today. Very tired, very tired. And I have to do laundry, so that's super exciting. Got it going now. Uh, so I'll just have to go switch it over in about 36 minutes. So that's exciting. And I know better when I get home. Sometimes I'm like, I'm just going to sit here on the bed after I take my little shower, you know. I'm just going to sit here. I'm just going to relax for a minute. And I know that's going to lead to me dozing off. Of course, it doesn't matter. I could come in here and sit down and doze off, so. That it is what it is. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna survive. Like the last two weeks I haven't worked a full week of work. Because I took Thursday off with my regular job the week before. Um when we had our um Springfield trip. And then of course I had Sunday Monday off um the next week. And of course I had Monday off with the city because it's the city, and it was Memorial Day. So, I only worked like four days one week, or four days at one job and three days at another, right? That's the, if the math is mathing. I gotta work all five days at both jobs. I don't know, I don't know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> Our new boss, the new parks um, superintendent, started today. Didn't meet him. <laughs> so, I, I don't know if he was around, because uh, we were out doing trash. For some reason, trash was just super bad today. Uh, somebody had a freaking party or something out at Cave Hollow, and I don't know if the wind got it or what, but there was just fucking... There was, like, soda cans everywhere, like, all over the playground, all over the grass, like, in the parking lot, like, Jesus. Most of them were, like, half full, so I'm like, how did the wind blow these? I, I don't know. I don't know. Cave Hollow was a mess, so. And he might have gotten a complaint about it, um, because, uh, he called Peter in the middle of our route and uh, apparently told Peter that you know Cave Hollow needed to be cleaned up because it was really bad so and uh, we were on our way to Mar Park so we just went ahead and did Mar Park and then did something else did we do Hawthorne and then come back around maybe I think we did I don't know but yeah it was it was bad for whatever, whatever reason there was just fucking cans and trash like everywhere might have been a raccoon party. I don't know. I don't know. But, but uh, Peter's wife made uh, breakfast sandwiches with quail eggs. They, they raise quail. The ones that they can keep in, in the pen. <laughs> Apparently they figured out where they're escaping from, so they, they fixed that. But uh, I guess they started with four, and then they were down to two, and now they're back up to three, because they found one of them that escaped. Apparently they're very, they can hide in the grass very well. And they're like, yeah, bitch, come get me, you know? And then just poof, disappear. Like goddamn David Blaine or some bullshit. But, so she, uh, you know, he's like, oh, my wife made some, you know, my, some breakfast sandwiches. She made some extra if you want to try one. Since it was made with quail eggs, I'm like, well, yeah, sure, I'll give it a try. <laughs> that was pretty good. I guess all of it was homemade except for the cheese. There was like the biscuit, uh, sausage, I think, was on it. So that was good. And of course the, the egg, the quail egg. So I got to try that today. I really forgot to do something. I forgot to see if Gail uploaded. <gasps> it's mine, turtle! Excuse me? I haven't seen anything from Tom Scott in a long time. June 3rd. That's today. Oh, Gail, Gail and I match. Gail and I match. He has June 3rd uploaded. <laughs> so, 
So our questions, our questions will match. Um, our answers won't, which is kind of interesting. That's what kind of you know, uh, watching, watching his, uh, um, you know, video. He has completely different answers than I do, so that's kind of interesting. But uh, speaking of questions, I guess I'll answer today's and shut my mouth. Favorite person to confide in? I don't really do that. <laughs> I mean, there again, as as we've said um, before in, in, in many of these videos, my life isn't that dramatic. I don't really have a reason to confide in anyone. Um, I mean, I guess the biggest drama that I had uh, within, you know, the last few years was going through the foreclosure and, you know, losing my house. Um, I, I kind of gave it away, though, because toward the end I was like, you know what? Somebody else can come in here and fix all these problems. They can have it. <laughs> uh, so it was actually kind of a relief when I decided to, uh, you know, to get rid of the house or, you know, let the bank have it back, you know. You fix it. You fix all this shit that's broken. You know, um, I didn't really, like, tell anyone. I mean, I, you know, I, I did tell, um, uh, you know, I called mom, and I let her know. I was like, oh, I figured out how I'm gonna, you know, fix the, fix, fix the plumbing in my house. I'm gonna move, you know, or whatever, you know. And, uh, I, I did tell Tanya, my friend Geek Wisdom, uh, because I was going to be making a video about it, but she, she, you know, she was one of my special people, so I wanted to make sure that uh, that I told her before she, you know, found out in a YouTube video. You know, I, I shared that with her privately before the big, you know, public announcement, whatever. But that wasn't really like confiding in people necessarily. That was just telling them like, hey, this is what happened, and. You know, I'm moving on and getting an apartment, and I'm going to be able to flush my toilet, which is nice, and not walk, not walk through wet carpet every day. <sighs> I was not ready for home ownership. I'll admit that now. Though, I was like, why did I have to pick a house that had so many issues? <laughs> Couldn't I just pick a house that was like a house that didn't have plumbing issues? <sighs> Darn the luck. Because uh, it's like, I mean, if it didn't have plumbing issues, I could have lived in it f forever and never had to worry about it, you know. <laughs> but no, nope, I had to pick the house that was the winner. Chicken dinner. Good for me. Um, so, I mean, I don't really... Uh, I, I, like I said, my life is not really that dramatic. It's like... Uh, I don't... I don't put myself out there a lot to, you know, fail or, I guess, <laughs> have a lot of bad things happen to me. Um, I don't know. I, I, so, I, I've i never really had a reason to confide anything in anyone from what I could tell. But um, I'm one of those people, like... I, like, I don't want anybody to worry about me, so if I was going through something, I wouldn't tell anyone. I, I, like, I, I can pretty much guarantee you that. I would just, I would handle it on my own, in silence, you know, and just kind of let it be, you know what I mean? Because um, it's like, I mean, I don't like, I don't like people, like, worrying about me or making a big deal or, you know, I, you know, like, I don't know. That just makes me kind of like uncomfortable, I guess. <laughs> it's like, you know, it's like every year when it's my birthday and that, that I like, I take time off for my birthday so that I can hide, you know, <laughs> I, I don't go to work. And it's like, you know, so they don't, you know, announce it over the loudspeaker or whatever. And it's like, anytime somebody asks me when my birthday is, I'm kind of like, oh yeah, it's uh, this year or, you know, it's it's within it's within the year. Like that's one of my that's one of my popular popular answers. <laughs> like I don't like. And then of course you know when we uh, you know we go out or whatever, mom's like, oh it's his birthday, and everybody's like, oh happy birthday, and I'm like, ah, thanks. <laughs> like I don't know. It's just kind of embarrassing, I guess. I guess maybe it's not as embarrassing as going to the the Mexican restaurant and you know getting the sombrero on and having everybody sing to you or whatever it is they do. Depending on the restaurant, I suppose. But 
We can keep it on the down low. We can keep it. There, there was even one time, one place, they, uh, I can't remember where that was. They brought me a dessert, though. And the waitress was like, we can sing to you if you want us to. And I was like, no, that's okay. <laughs> she was she was kind of relieved that it's like, uh, you, know, uh, you know, they didn't have to put on the whole pomp and circumstance for, <laughs> you know. Because, I, you know, I mean, so maybe, maybe some people are into that, but I feel like a lot of people are like, this is embarrassing as fuck. Like, the, the, the people who have to do it, you know, the employees, the, the, the actual, like, the, the wait staff that has to come out and go, you know, like, just can't do it, just can't do it. Uh, so, um... To be honest, I don't know if I was going through something, if I was if I was having some kind of big dramatic time, I don't know. I, I mean, I guess I can't say I wouldn't confide in someone. Um, I mean, at this point, it would probably be Mary Lee because she's the one that I talk to the most, you know. But even then, it would kind of be like, you know. I mean, th the problem would probably be solved. You know, this is kind of like, kind of, kind of like with the foreclosure. Once again, like, uh, you know, I didn't start telling people about the foreclosure until I had already made the decision to move out. You know, that's what I've told them. I was kind of like, well, you know, this is going on, and it's kind of like, you know, blah blah blah, you know. But you know, I'm 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 moving out, and this is why. You know, just kind of explaining things. So I mean, the problem is kind of you know already fixed itself, or I had already made steps to, you know, fix the problem, whatever, however you want to, however you want to say it. <laughs> but, uh, cause yes, I, 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 I'm pretty sure if I was going through something, um, I would not confide in anyone. Cause I just don't want people to like worry about me. You know what I mean? Like, kind of like, or it's like, oh, how are you doing? Blah, blah, blah. You know? Like, I, I even kind of hate it, like, when you come back from a vacation, and everybody's like, oh, how was your trip? And then it's like, you have to, like, tell, like, the same thing over and over and over again. Like, oh, you know, it was good, you know. What did you do? Like, what was your favorite thing? Blah, blah, blah. Depending on how many questions they ask, I guess. Um, but I have bling, by the way. I found this rangity rang, rangity rang, blingity bling, ring rang. Uh, actually, at Cave Hollow, where the big mess was, where somebody had a fucking party or whatever. I found that on the ground, and then I like I put it on kind of as a joke, and then I forgot that I was wearing it. <laughs> and at one point, like I saw the the red part, and I, I was like, "Is my finger bleeding?" And I'm like, "Oh, I still have that fucking ring on." Uh, so yes. Uh, I have ringity bling bling, and uh, that's your answer to the question. A ding ding. So, uh, what time is that? I still have a little bit of time before I have to go switch over the laundry. So, I'll get this uploading and get it to you. And I will link Gail's video below so you can see his answer. <laughs> uh, if you want to go check it out, you don't have to. I'm not like twisting your arm or anything. Um, yeah, since our, since our days, our days match, <laughs> he caught up. Um, eventually I'm going to catch up with him because, like, he's already answered a couple of the questions since he answered, the, like, the, the, the end of June questions, but. Oh, yeah, Anime, anyway. Um, I'm going to get this uploaded, and I will see you for another video.